An agent is just something that does work on your behalf. And, you know, in the re physical real world, we have property agents who research property for us. We have, used to have travel agents who would, you know, book travel for us. It's less so, but an agent is just something that does work on your behalf. And the interesting thing about, and there's many agents out there. Every time, you know, you, you, you search the web through either Bing or, or Google or another website, on the back end of that, there's an agent that is going through an index of every website and matching to the keywords that you typed in and trying to find the best matches, summarizing them, putting them in links. So we've had agents working for us for decades in technology. But the interesting thing about AI is that the agents now speak our language because of models, you know, like um, like the GPT models from OpenAI and, and others and the Phi models from Microsoft. So there's a lot of work at Microsoft on what we call declarative agents, which is where you tell the agent what you want it to do just in whatever your native language is. Um, and then the agent will go off and try to do it. It will come back and tell you maybe where it found, where, where your instructions were unclear or where it hit a, a, um, something it couldn't do or where it made a mistake. Um, and you iterate it. But, you know, a good example, a classic example would be read my email every morning sort it into things that are specifically asking me to do something, you know, emails that need me to act versus maybe emails that are just an inform um, and put it into two separate boxes, you know, inboxes. So I can focus initially on the things that require my, you know, my immediate action. Um, and then if you wanted to take that one step further, you could say, prioritize those emails for me based on maybe which ones have an urgent note or which ones contain the word ASAP <laughs> or which ones came from my, you know, management chain. Um, and then if you wanted to go further, you could say create an initial response, right? What you think would be the response and then I'll come in and edit it. But you can kind of see how just a, a very simple workflow of read my email and if the, if the agent gets that right, then you could give it some criteria to prioritize and you could take additional action. Um, and so that would be just as a simple example where you can create an agent just typing in natural language.